I wrote the book, Game Plan for Life, because I think everybody needs a game plan. You know, we have game plans for football games. We have game plans for business. And I believe we need a game plan for life. Mm -hmm. And so it's God's Word, the Bible. And so that first book, I got scholars to write about the 11 most important things that people said they needed to have success in to leave uh, to lead a modern day successful life and then my story weaves through there so that was that book game plan for life um i mentioned my two sons when we started the race team jd uh, was a part of that very first group 17 people that started that first race team and jd spent his entire um life professional life um building a race team he had his own ministry he spoke in public uh, he was president of joe gibbs racing making key decisions and if there's anybody i felt like that really and truly tried to live a godly life it was jd married melissa four boys and so life for us was just on a roll and um, about five years, eight, really nine years ago, we started noticing some changes in JD. He got quieter in meetings, and you could tell after a while that he was either not happy or something was going on. And so, what we eventually struggled when he went to the doctors, uh, JD had a degenerative brain disease, hmm. and we were diagnosed with that. Um, really, there is no cure. We struggled in every different way trying to find one. But J.D. went to be with the Lord on January the 11th, 2019. At that point, I had a game plan for life. And it didn't change my relationship with the Lord. But when J.D. went to be with the Lord, I had some real questions, you know. Um, and they really boiled down to about five of them. And I said to myself, I got to find and talk to people that can really give me counsel. And so I went and embarked on a, um, about a, 18 months. I went to visit pastors that I really trusted and believed in. I study, uh, started the study of God's word, and I started trying to figure out those five questions why did that happen? And how does God look at that? And so I wound up, to me, I really felt like that through that process, I became comfortable. And I really, at the end, felt like I knew what God had done. And so I wanted to share that with people. And a lot of people have loss. That was my loss. But I felt like by maybe sharing that with others, it maybe encouraged them. Uh, to what I found. And so that was the impetus for Game Plan for Loss. And that'll be coming out in two months, so I'm excited about that. Never thought I'd write another book. I, f I felt like, you know, what in the world am I doing? But when all of that happened with J.D. and seeing his family, his boys, live through that. Uh, and with me being a part of all that and Pat, it was really a a lifelong heartbreak is what it was. Mm. And we miss J.D. so much, but we know where he is. At the end of J.D.'s life, he couldn't communicate, he couldn't walk, he couldn't eat. And I tell everybody today, but he had given his life to Christ, and we know where he is, 